All right, so today I am working on a 2013 Porsche Cayenne GTS. Um, now, customer complaint, after the car would warm up, we would get some shuttering. And now for the shuttering, everybody might have a different explanation for this. So my type of shuttering would be as you're accelerating at a very low RPM or you're going up a hill, um, your car will start to shudder, like, like just tug back and forth. Um, you would get that symptom and it would feel like you're like, almost like you're hitting a bump each time it, it, it shudders. Um, so that, that's the symptom I'm getting. So I want to make sure you guys are getting that too as well. So you're not getting this confused. Um, now the car has around about 73,000 miles, very low 2013. So it's still pretty low. Um, good for the age of the year. Now, for the customer, very dis, um, they're very concerned about the the issue. So, uh, thanks to one of my buddies, Uriel. Shout out to you. I appreciate the the TSB info um, and the help to give me a little quick advice on this one. So, I'm going to share this knowledge with you guys. So, obviously. This is the model that we are working with, we are dealing with, and so forth. All right, so coming from the passenger side, this is going to give you an idea of how to fit, pinpoint it. So either it would be the transfer case or the transmission that would be giving you the issues and so forth. Now, I think there's a couple different um, type of style transfer cases that you need to make sure um, that you're getting. And if you do try um, replacing the transfer case yourself... It does need to be programmed and coded to the vehicle's VIN and the software needs to be updated. So you would either need to get it towed to the dealership or get it coded by a programmer, you know, those mobile programmers, um, if you're able to. So coming up um, under the passenger side, so we're going to go into there first. So this is going to determine which one is bad. So while the whole transfer case is disconnect, uh, connected, obviously we're getting the shutter. So we want to pinpoint which one is giving us the issues. Now, this not this might not be a guaranteed thing. Um, I mean, it could be something else. But, I mean, this is the most common thing for these guys. So coming up under here. So let's go right up under here. We're going to go ahead and see. Now, be careful if your system is hot. So right here is our transfer case. So this guy right here this is our transfer case right there and then obviously we have our transmission right over there so our transfer case is bolted to our transmission now coming up right here there's our actuator and then coming up a little bit more God, the car lowered itself so coming up right there where's that connector sorry i can't see guys wherever my finger is so right here as you can see i disconnected that so now if you disconnect this what's going to happen is that you're going to throw the all-wheel drive or the 4x4 fault code so i disconnected this took it for a test drive and literally it's just one little tab right here you pull this tab back you push it down and then you pull it right out if it doesn't want to come out just you know, basically, I just want to make sure you guys see it. So that's clipped in. So if you need to, just push it in. As you're pushing it in, push the tab towards it. And then just go ahead and pull right out. So once you kind of wiggle it right out, then you go ahead and pull it. So all right. So now that we got that pulled out, what you're going to go ahead and do is that you're going to go ahead and just tuck that away. Make sure to keep it away from the drive shaft. So that's what we want to do. We want to hide that from the drive shaft. So I just have it tucked right in there and so forth. All right. So once you come back in the car, what you're going to go ahead and do, obviously you're going to start it. And then once you start it, get all these things to uh, illuminate. So right there is going to say all wheel drive fault system. Um, and then from there, obviously your all wheel drive and all that might not actuate, uh, or uh, no. Okay. So it won't, it won't keep it out of, it won't lock it out and it won't lock the differential and all that. So you wouldn't be able to do that. All right. So 
once you do that you're going to drive it and if the shutter goes away then that'll that'll pinpoint you to your transfer case being at fault so that would be the best ideal now if it doesn't go away then we would know the transmission would be at fault or the valve body on the transmission and so forth so once you get those dialed in i believe there's a a recall extended recall for these um thank god so my customers gonna be able to save money on that and not spend a fortune on this so they're gonna get that taken care of um, but again if this video helped you out give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions or comments on this too you know in, in your matter what's a quick fix or whatever what you guys think about it and then hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future and thanks for watching